how to add Printify products to Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate your Wix store to your Printify account and also how you can put the products on uh, Wix by just integrating the app and also start selling the print on demand products. So the process is very easy. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Printify then you are going simply to create an account within the platform. After that, you're going to head over Wix, as you can see, like that. And then you're going to select your website. So here I have skipped this step. So you are going to head over your Wix website, then select it. From here, you are going simply to uh, head over your dashboard of the selected website and click on design or edit website, just like that. From here, we are going to select the add app. So we are going to add an app on our uh, Wix website. We are going to face up the Wix app market. From here, we are going to click either here or there. We are going to click on the search bar. This is the, um, the best idea that I can explain. We're going to type in a print and normally we are going to see printify just like that. So this is the clap of the fingers. This is the official app. We're going to click on it. And then we are going to uh, see the app. We are going to click on add to site. And from here, we are going to wait for the integration. So obviously it will take you to the sales channels of the account. So we are going to give your name or give your story name. So we are going to type in Jack, for example, uh, POD, POD like that, store, for example. I'm going to put here a capital D and connect. Now we are going to agree to the uh, integration. You can add and agree. And this is the first thing. So you are going to add your product. So here we have connected our Wix store to the Printify account. I'm going to head over my products in here. So we are going to see that we have no product assigned or no product added. So in here, we have not uh, selected or we've not had the update to our Wix. So I'm going to ignore that. So here, if you have already connected your Wix website to Printify, you should see in here. So this case is going to be uh, special for um, setting up the store. So we have our Shopify store and we have the Wix store. So now we are going to head over the dashboard and start creating our product. So for example, let's add here something for a from the catalog. I'm not going to head over the dashboard, but I'm going to select from the catalog. Men's clothing, for example, we are going to add a sweatshirt. So we are going to start designing the, um, the design, or we are going to uh, design the apparel or the clothes. So I'm going to select this one, for example, and we are going to see if it is going to be matching our taste, we're going to click on start designing. Click on here. We're going to see here the editor. Uh, we are going to upload obviously a uh, here um, the design that we want. So we are going to search for it. For example, I'm going to add this. This is just an example. So I'm going to add this one. So we are going to wait for the upload. We can check the library. So we have in here some designs already. I'm going to add this one. So we're going to make sure that it is going to be a little bit like a badge. I'm going to put it in the left. This is the left side of the shirt or the something like that. So after we have added this design, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and into this one, into this specific zone. So, or you can go ahead and put it to the middle and put it a little bit bigger, just like that. Like that, this is better. Then we are going to select the variant. So we are going to check the colors that will be suitable for this shirt. For example, this, that, and then we are going to click on save product. You can preview the uh, things in here. And also you can go ahead and head over the design again. For example, you can go back into the design and see here we have the mockups. You can check the mockups like that and see if it is going to be suitable for our taste. 
So we're going to click on start publishing. And from here, we're going to see all of the or the resume of the product. So we are going to select the uh, one that is going to be the mockup that we are going to add to our Wix. For example, we are going to head over here, see if it is going to represent well the model. So maybe we are going to add the pepper. We can add this model. We can add the gray one instead. So we are going to check. Is this better? I don't think so, but I think that this every is better. Now, you're going to see the listing details like the product description, the title, the description of it, and also the specificities of that product. Now, you can add the size table to the description, and this is going to be uh, here the real deal. So you are going to put here size, for example, chart. I'm going to name it chart just like that. And from here, we're going to set it up here. We have the inches, as you can see. So it is going to be suitable in here. So you can put it as metric or imperial. So this is the metric sizing. As you can see, you can add it to this specific area. And you can go ahead and align it to the middle, maybe from this to the middle. I don't know here. It is going to be essential to add this. So you can add some or personalize the uh, t-shirt or the clothing by enable the personalization but i'm not going to allow that since we are going to only sell our design so for the pricing you can select all click on edit price and then we're going to put it here it is set to between 17 dollars to 27 we're going to sell it over 45.99 so we are going to edit the price and set up everything in here so normally it is going to be like that so this is the production cost and you're going to make, let's say here, the margin from here. Now you can see the publishing settings like hiding it in the store. I'm not going to hide it. You can add here the mockups or not. Then you are going simply to click on publish when you finish everything. I'm going to head over here. Maybe where are the most successful shops? Now it is going to set up the, um, the product. Now, let's see, it takes a few minutes to publish the product. You should restore meanwhile, we'll not create some more. So we are going to ignore this message for creating some more products. We are going to wait for the product to be set. And how you can see the product is going to be um, published. You're going to head over my products and see here the inventory, we are out of stock. We're going to see the status of it. And normally it is going to be published, but it will take a little bit of time. You can at any time modify, duplicate, or uh, create a order from this product when it is going to be published. In our case, or in our website, we're going to head over the dashboard of it. And normally we are going to see it into the products. So we are going to give it a little bit of time and we are going to check. So we are going to head over the catalog, to products and click on products. Normally you are going to see your product in here and boom, this is it. So this is the product, unisex lightweight crew neck sweatshirt. We are going to see all the variation, all the colors, all the sizes and everything. Boom. So you're going to categorize this product and put it just like that. So here it will give you the category, for example, and then you are going to see the table of chart uh, like that. And also pricing for uh, the sizes, the colors and boom, everything is in order. So here we have it. With that, you're going to click on save or cancel everything from here. It is going to be added just like that. And normally it is going to be published. So if you want to delete that product, you can go ahead and delete it and it will go from the menu right there with the order of the update. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.